This baby lynx was caught in an animal trap and separated from her mother. Her kind has been nearly extinct from overhunting. One of the reasons that she and many others are alive today is this man. He has become a protector of lynx in Germany and was crucial in bringing back the species after 150 years of local extinction. But the population is still endangered. So we went back to Harz National Park to help protect these rare animals. And today, after six months of nursing, we'll release our now almost grown-up girl back into the wilderness and make sure that she and many like her will find a safe habitat in the modern world. We are Planet Wild. Welcome to Mission 7. This right behind me is Central Europe's largest wildcat. This fluffy predator is able to bring down a full-grown wolf if it has to. It's a truly awe-inspiring animal. Under normal circumstances, it's virtually impossible to encounter one of them up close. But we're lucky today because we're with one of Germany's leading lynx experts, Ole Anders, who took us into the wildlife enclosure at Harz National Park. People get used to everything, of course, but uh, it is still very unique to come close to a lynx. While a lynx can eat two kilograms of meat a day, humans are not on its menu. And there has never been a single report of lynx killing humans or attacking unprovoked. So I guess I should feel super relaxed right now, but I'm sure you can still feel my tension. Eurasian lynx were once spread across much of Europe. Their beautiful spotted fur made them a unique species on the continent, but it also put a target on their backs, as hunters could sell lynx fur to the rich and vain for top dollar. The rise of industrialization then led to massive habitat destruction, so that a shrinking number of lynx eventually ran out of places to hide, until the population went completely extinct in Germany by 1850, and in many other countries around the same time. If it weren't for some remote refuges in Northern and Eastern Europe, we might have lost the species forever. Luckily, environmentalists have started to reintroduce lynx with growing success. Germany's biggest lynx population today lives in the Harz Mountains. The program was launched in 2000 at Harz National Park by Ole and his team. Only two years later, they were able to report the first birth of a wild lynx in the region for over two centuries. Since then, the population has grown to more than 100 animals to date. A huge success, but much more work is needed to make the population self-sustainable. Since lynx are on top of the animal food chain, their biggest threat are humans. Because as forest-bound animals, their natural roots are cut off by large deforested areas, as well as human development which create massive barriers and slow down range expansion. And worldwide, lynx are still hunted and trapped, whether illegally or accidentally, and they're especially vulnerable when they're young. Baby lynx are raised solely by their mother, who takes care of her young for about a year, after which they are mature enough to survive on their own and will head off to find an unclaimed territory. When our baby lynx was discovered in a raccoon trap, she was only six months old and still dependent on her mother. And even though she was rescued quickly, her mother could not be found anywhere, turning her into an orphan. She was brought to the Wildlife Rescue Center Sachsenhagen, where we are right now. It's one of the biggest wildlife rescue stations in the country, doing truly amazing work and caring for over 3,000 animals per year. Here, our girl was checked for injuries and diseases and given the name F15. Over the following month, she was fed and nursed back to health. Her well-being was constantly monitored, all while making sure that she doesn't get used to human presence, as this would compromise her chance of survival in the wild. Now, six months later, F15 is a strong sub-adult lynx and ready to leave the house. By the way, if you're wondering who we are, Planet Wild is a community that anyone can join to help restore our planet through monthly missions like this one. If you want to give back to nature, consider joining and become part of these missions as a backer. There's a link in the description. I'll also share more info at the end. Now, back to the video. We are looking for lynx traces in the Harz Mountains. Covering over 200,000 hectares, the area is huge. And yet, it's already so populated that young lynx need to migrate further out to find their own territory. And that is exactly the goal of the Harz Lynx Project, 
slowly but surely expanding the range so it reaches and starts mixing with other populations. I think the biggest problem that lynx in Central Europe has is that all populations of the species are very, very small. We are really running into problems uh, in, in terms of inbreeding. This is a very, very important topic for the next decades to come. The hope is to eventually connect the population of hearts with that of the Palatinate and the Varian forests, the three population hubs in Germany and we are right in the center of it all. So if the population density here is already at capacity, then the question is, where is everybody? The reasons you will never spot the lynx in the wild are precisely what makes them such fascinating creatures. Number one, they don't want you to. Lynx are shy and solitary animals that simply prefer to spend their time alone. Number two, they are nocturnal creatures. That means they are most active at dawn and at night, not exactly the time most people are hiking in the woods. Number three, they are masters of camouflage. With their spotted brown-reddish fur, they completely blend into forest environments and simply disappear. In winter, their coat turns into a gray silvery color to adapt to the environment. Number four, you're probably looking in the wrong direction. Lynx often climb onto high rocks or fallen trees to scan the surrounding area and stalk prey. Number five, they have insane vision. A lynx can see six times better in the dark than a human and is able to spot a rabbit from a distance of 300 meters or 1,000 feet. It will see you long before you see it. Number six, they have even better hearing. A lynx can perceive sounds up to 70 kilohertz, whereas human hearing maxes out at 20. No matter how quiet you are, you're not escaping these iconic brushed ears. And finally, number seven, they have a large territory. A single lynx can occupy a territory of up to 4,000 hectares. That's four times the size of Barcelona, which makes it hard to run into someone even if they're not hiding. Lynx need these large territories to successfully hunt on a regular basis. The fact that lynx are so hard to spot makes them the perfect surprise hunters. And this keeps prey animals on their toes through what's called an ecology of fear. That means grazers like roe deer are not staying in the same area for too long, but keep moving, which reduces overgrazing, gives more time for natural recovery, leads to wider dispersion of seeds through deer excrement and more biodiversity in general. Now, if they are so hard to observe, how can Ola make sure the population is developing well? That's where we come in. Together with the Planet Wild community, we are funding 30 wildlife cameras that will allow Ola to extend the monitoring area as the range is further increasing. With these cameras, they can collect data to see how the population is developing, if animals are in distress, and if interventions are needed. They also learn more about lynx in general. Remember, they have only been back here for about 20 years. So there's still a lot we need to understand. Fun fact, so far, no one has figured out what those brushed ears are for. If you have any hypothesis, let us know in the comments. The first cameras are already up and running. Let's take a look if we have captured anything. These are cubs, right? Yeah, it's a female with two cubs. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. Oh my god, <laughs> they're so cute. Uh, how many cubs do they do they get? Uh, from one to five. Five is the maximum, but very rare. Interesting. Across the different cameras already in use, we can get a glimpse into the fascinating world of wildlife around us that is usually hidden. The photos are crucial to identify individual lynx and their migratory patterns over long time frames. Could you identify the lynx from this shot alone? Uh, this is the perfect picture. This is exactly what we want. So you can see the inner legs of the animal and uh, that's where the most spots are. The spots of a, of a lynx are very unique. Uh, they are like a fingerprint. We will be able to recognize it uh, after 10 years. Uh, the spots do not change. And in some cases, the cameras allow us a really deep look into lynx behavior. In this situation, we found a roe deer kill and uh, we set up a camera waiting for the lynx to come back and that was exactly what happened. For several days, the, the lynx came back to the carcass uh, eating, uh, resting the day somewhere else and then uh, returning to the carcass again. Understanding this kind of behavior allows Ola to become an even better steward of lynx returning home. Back at the wildlife station, it's getting serious for our young lynx. Now our lynx has been immobilized, it's getting a last comprehensive health check and then it's ready to go. At that point, all we can do is trust that her natural instincts will guide her to become the hunter that she's meant to be. But there's still one problem. 
While wild cameras are great at monitoring a whole population of lynx over long periods of time, the data is simply not granular enough to know if a single lynx will do well in the crucial first weeks and months after release. Luckily, we're able to help with another piece of tech. The Planet Wild community is financing a GPS color for F15 to make sure our girl stays under the watchful eyes of Ole for a little bit longer. With the collar attached, F15 goes on her last trip in captivity. After a two-hour drive, we're back in the region where our big girl was first discovered six months ago. The transport was smooth and there's really only one thing left to do. All right, the box is set. We already hear some clear growling. I think she's eager and ready to go. And in the blink of an eye, our grown-up girl ran where she belongs, straight into the forest she grew up in and from where we hope she will be able to make it on her own. And indeed, only a week later, we see very clear signs that F15 is doing well in the wild. The GPS data is showing the exact patterns we have been hoping to see. After a few days of wandering, our girl has started returning to the same spot every night which means she was able to hunt successfully and is now feeding on her prey over multiple nights, as we now know is typical for lynx that are thriving in the wild. From here, she will go on to find the territory and eventually mate and bring new cubs into the world, so that slowly but surely, she and others will restore a crucial aspect of wilderness in the center of Europe and hopefully beyond. All Planet Wild members who made this mission possible just unlocked the new Lynx badge in our app. If you too want to support missions like this one, or this, or this, consider joining Planet Wild as a backer. There's a link in the description. The bigger the community grows, the bigger our missions will get. And a huge thank you goes out to all existing Planet Wild members for making any of this happen. See you all again next month. Over and out.